Hi, welcome to The Conscious Spirit. I'm Pam. I'm Mary Lynn. Together we are TCS, TCS Everyday, Everyday Psychics. Psychics. Video we're going to watch today. Yes. It is, we've had, um, this is another one that's been requested a lot. Um, yeah. The channel and this particular um, video. The Overnight uh, Channel. Mm-hmm. Is who we're watching today. Poltergeist of Haunted Preston Castle. Yes. Yes. Never heard of the Preston Castle. I haven't either. Now this, um, so what we're going to do with this one, we've done another time when we got good mm -hmm. response from it. We don't want to listen to the history and apparently there's like 10 minutes or so of history yeah. at the beginning of this. Um, and we don't want to hear that and have it, you know, influence what right. we get because that can happen we're we're, yep. we're human beings but we are going to play that clip um at the beginning before for you not for us but we'll play right. it for you and then our reaction will come in after yeah. so um you all can get that information um and then we'll probably watch it after we're done but um i should i shouldn't say that i should say probably because i don't know that for yeah. I, I it's not a probably it's a maybe for me, it will depend <laughs> on maybe. what um, on what we see. Yeah, what, what transpires. Yeah, that's true. So yeah. Um, okay, and there's poltergeist right in the yeah in the title, and um, we know by watching a lot of these videos that poltergeist mm -hmm. that they sort of use that name um, sort of loosely or sort very of, loosely. And in any sort of situation. Demon and poltergeist are like the, the two <laughs> the two favorite they like sort of buzzwords. Yeah. Um, poltergeist is there's many different ways it can form. However, it always starts with um, human suffering, human um, yeah. wounding, and trauma. It, it always starts there. Unhealed. Unhealed. Thank um, you. Typically, that person that stuffs and stuffs and stuffs and ignores and stuffs and ignores and stuffs and ignores, and pretty soon all that energy just yes, boom, yes, poltergeist. Yes, and sometimes it's you know an a, a abused child. Yes, um, abused children. Um, they can't say anything, so they mm -hmm. have learned to keep their mouth shut because uh -huh. it's not. That's why um, there are a lot of there. Many times, young girls um, will, uh, when they start, when the, like when they start their menstrual cycle, mm -hmm. that can be a time where because their emotions just start moving. Right. But they almost always, through our experience, have had some sort of trauma already. It's it, true, and, yeah. and then that just sort of, yeah. and then poltergeist can be formed. But yeah. there is poltergeist. We would call it maybe activity. That is not a poltergeist, but so this this kind right. of looks like a poltergeist, but it isn't. Right. Um, you get the so, same effects yeah. from it. So we'll see what yeah. they mean yeah. by that here. So um, all right. All right. Well, this is good. All right. Yes. Okay. Did you have something else I you wanted to say? Thought I did, but I guess <laughs> I don't. Don't know. Don't know. All right. So we'll go ahead and okay. go ahead and start. Reform, Rehabilitation, Discipline. These were the words that stood for Preston School of Industry, now known as Preston Castle. Located in Northern California, from the outside, Preston Castle was commended for its values and drive as one of the best known reform schools. But from the inside of its halls were stories of abuse, malpractice, and horrors. Over time, this place of hope became filled with stories of torment, suffering, and death. There is even a graveyard on the property dedicated to the boys that have died here. Not only the youth, but the staff were also in constant danger of attack, escape, and in some cases, ruthless murder. From visual manifestations, shadow figures, disembodied voices, and people getting brutally scratched, there is no shortage of paranormal evidence. But before the investigation begins, we must look at the history of Preston Castle. In the 1890s in the United States marked the start of the youth corrections reform movement to move youth from adult prisons to their own reformatory, to learn skills in an effort to rehabilitate them. 
It was believed that through trade skills, these troubled youths could develop and be integrated back into society upon release. Through this increased need for reformatories, Preston Castle was built between the years of 1890 to 1894. It was massive in size with a total of 50,000 square feet, including a basement, four floors, and 77 rooms. The ages of the boys varied from 12 to 24, depending on need for space and the period of operation. The boys sent to this location either committed atrocious crimes, or in some cases, were simply abandoned by their parents. At its peak, Preston Castle was 1,000 acres, held 800 wards, 200 employees, and about 50 buildings, essentially causing the boys to live in their own bubble, one that they wished would burst. Although intentions appeared to be for the well-being of the boys, it quickly became an overcrowded place and stories of abuse became rampant. Within reports from Preston Castle, the superintendent would emphasize the need for more discipline and custody. They announced that each individual would be treated very differently depending on behavior and segregation was very common if not encouraged. There were many rumors of poor living conditions and malpractice from the staff, where punishments ranged from isolation, starvation, to public paddling and lashings. Additionally, when boys were first checked into the building, they were shaved, stripped, and plunged into a pool of harsh chemicals. They were forced to walk with a pole submerged under the chemicals to get rid of any pests, especially lice, on their heads. This was only the beginning of the harsh approach and treatment they received at Preston Castle. It appears that much of the malpractice began at the highest rank with the first superintendent. After several of the employees were fired, they openly accused him of mistreatment, yet no proof was found, but it was a beginning for harsher treatment asserted by future superintendents. The second superintendent had a reputation to be ruthless as well, and was said to have methods of torture and abuse that he enjoyed employing. He unfortunately had friends in high places, so little could be done to make him step down. It was only when the media started to smear his name with stories that he did step down as well. Yet this cycle continued, time and time and time again. Nearly all through its history, Preston Castle was full of scandals and horrific stories of misconduct, not only from supervisors or officers, but all of the other staff members as well. In 1909, Dr. Randall was forced to resign due to investigations of an instance where he imprisoned one boy in an attic for 90 days. With every year, Preston Castle seemed to accumulate more stories of abuse and neglect that took place particularly in the dormitory of the building. Due to all of the horrific occurrences, it is considered to be one of the most haunted areas of the building. Many people express feelings of being unsettled when entering the dormitory. Figures are often described looking at the visitors from doorways around the various parts of the building. These horrific conditions became so extreme that in 1923, a journalist from the San Francisco Daily News went undercover as a ward to see it for himself. Through his expose, the rumors were brought to light as fact that the officers would administer terrible punishments. Fights would often break out among the boys, and in one of the worst cases, a riot began after a boy was stabbed during a fight. This reporter would stay there and purposely tried to be disobedient against orders and after picking a fight himself, was sent to solitary confinement for 15 days. He wasn't the first to be sent to the cells. Evidence of scratches on the walls, names, crosses, and many other things show the psychological torment countless boys before him endured. No one was safe in Preston Castle. There was a constant battle between officers and wards. It was said that new escape attempts would be made on a weekly basis. A more official count in the first 18 years of operation are 66 boys managed to escape or attempted to and were caught. The escape attempts could result in bloody fights between officers and wards. One in particular left a guard nearly dead. On April 20th, 1904, one of the youths, Edward Rowe, attacked a night watchman in the dormitory. He, along with an accomplice, tried to escape via water pipe. The attack was so severe, the watchman almost died. Although they escaped, they were later caught and sent to Folsom Prison for adults instead. They were sentenced to 10 years for assault to commit murder. Escapees have been shot 
and killed during attempts to leave the property, while murder attempts were common against the guards. There are many boys and guards believed to still remain on the property due to anger they feel towards this place, resulting in many visitors feeling heavy or uneasy energy all throughout the 50,000 square foot building. Even when it came to surgery, there was very little emphasis on safe practice. Due to this, the infirmary is a hot spot for activity from the many deaths and immense energy of suffering that was prolonged there. This is in fact the place that I started to feel the worst pain of my life. And yet there is still one more brutally notable incident of the castle. In 1950, one of the most brutal deaths occurred. The head housekeeper, a favorite among the boys, was beaten to death beyond recognition in the basement. The killer was never discovered, although fingers were pointed from students to staff, yet nothing was proven. There is an abundance of paranormal activity documented in the basement that points to a dark entity residing there. From disembodied voices to phantom smells, knocks, mist, and an entity that enjoys messing with technology, there's a lot that is said to happen in this part of the building. After many deaths, rumors, and outrage from the media, Preston School of Industry closed partially in 1960, and a new facility was built nearby, with the focus turned there. Many of the buildings that made up Preston Castle were left vacant and fell into disrepair until 2001. The castle and the immediate surrounding property of 12.9 acres was deeded over to the Preston Castle Foundation by the state of California on November 7, 2014. Over the years, Preston Castle has become renowned for its history and paranormal activity. This building holds many secrets that remain among the dead that once lived here, with many reports of strange sounds, anomalies, slamming doors, falling objects, orbs, sudden gusts of wind, phantom voices, and phantom touches. The truth of all of the horrors that occurred behind closed doors might be lost to rumors, but through investigations, more of the puzzles are put together. Whether answers will ever be found is unclear. However, it is clear that there is an evil darkness that lingers, making itself known to anyone who enters. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Pleasure. Corey. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. <laughs> nice yeah. to meet you. Josh. You nice might forget our names you. in a minute anyway. I might. I might. the most <laughs> white yeah. boy names of all yeah. time. Oh, Tyler, Todd, Kevin, Carl. Yeah. Right. 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 <laughs> That's Carl. Oh, yeah. yeah. Carl. <laughs> Carl. Just to be clear, no one lives here at all and there's no one else here? No. Okay. Except for the vultures. The vultures. Yeah. Yeah. The and American. the owls. The owls. And maybe a few rats, mice. <laughs> How long have you been? Investigating here, guiding paranormal tours. 2005 or six oh, wow. is wow. I came up here just as a guest, just fell in love with the place and started volunteering. Okay, I'm gonna cut her off right there. there okay. can, there's a, a, a spirit be to her left, sort of in between her and okay. that the other one there. Okay. Um, it's an older, older woman. Um, she uh, she lived there. Um, there's a lot of sorrow. So something there were things that were happening here that uh, just just she the, the re sorry, she's talking in circles and I'm trying to get a hold of it. I need to ask her to slow down. There were atrocities that she allowed to happen mm. that she didn't tell on. She didn't say anything. She didn't. And um, the fear of what would happen to her kept her stuck. Oh. Yes. Okay. So that fear that she would be ultimately punished with, you know, being in hell or whatever, which... Um, we all, you, if you've heard us long enough, pretty much that's hell. This is hell. Yeah. There, there is no separate hell, um, that we go to, but, um, that's a, that's, that's one of those teaching moments, but, um, <laughs> um, anyway, but she likes to be there. She feels like she's welcoming people there. She's, she, okay. um, wants to. No, I was gonna say she wants to tell her story, but she says she's done telling her story because it just she doesn't get heard. She wasn't heard in life. She's not heard now. She um, she has she she wants to be there to try and she's trying to 
these are not her words, but in, in our words, karma, like break the karma. Okay. Like she had, she created so much karma hmm. that she's now trying to reverse that. Okay. Um, the, the, the shame is really overwhelming for her. You can feel it. Yes, it can. So, yeah. 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 So that's what I'm getting okay. thus far. So, all right. Okay sharing you know when I could and um, eventually made my uh, way um, I'm super honored to be one of the um, of two people that actually run the paranormal tours here so, so cool. that's cool so yeah. cool and you've had enough <laughs> experiences here like, keep yeah they keep me coming back absolutely yeah where's your favorite place well my favorite place is probably the basement but I can tell there. you the very first time I ever saw a full body apparition was right in this hall what there was a group in there. This was my very first night ever right. here. There was a group down in the infirmary, which is straight down by that exit sign, facing towards the hallway here. And um, I saw what looked like a man in a white jacket just walk this way. Where and I could even actually see like he had dark hair and a white jacket. I was standing where that file cabinet is right there, mm -hmm. up near that window. And I saw somebody just walk right past here, like about this close, just right down, probably doing his rounds or doing his job mm -hmm. or, or something like that. That was definitely, I feel definitely residual yes. on that with that man. Yep. Yeah. I do too. Um, something we didn't talk about, we sort of jumped right in. Um, I want to turn this a little bit. Um, we sort of jumped right in. We opened space uh, and the, it's very heavy uh, and, yeah. and nauseating. Very nauseating. Yeah. And we talked about it a little here, bit before like we started really... filming and then we kind of forgot once we, yeah. we turned on the recorder. So, uh, did yeah. you want to talk about it's any? It's very spinny. Um, yeah. and spinny is a good word. When she mentioned the, like really knock you off balance um, and the infirmary oof. and pointed down that way. I just, my stomach just oof. urged, it turned, okay. um, there is a reason poltergeist is in the name of this. Oh, okay. Um, All right. There is poltergeist-ish energy. Ish, okay. Um, the energy that I am, I felt it when we were opening space, but I can really feel it now that we're like here. Um, it does not feel like a, conscious earthy uh, it's not an entity per se it's just energy okay and it is confused and angry and traumatized traumatized yeah. you name it it's it yeah it's ugly and it feels it feels to me like there's the the energy is there but there's also residual energy of this same type of thing and energy and when they like cross paths i'm it's hearing like a, i'm hearing ooh. cries and pleas um to to stop and mm. i'm hurt stop this hurts stop please don't do this like begging mm -hmm. that type of uh in in within that within that energy that energy mm -hmm. yeah so i don't know um you know our guides are not great about giving us uh labels for things mm -hmm. but maybe we can get some sort of label to label this um and so you know i have very very few tools that have shown up really just one actually and i usually have a plethora of them which tells me there's not something um conscious here that i that is of a very low vibration mm -hmm. that is is needing my tools um to sort of inject that love and to help with that process of getting them crossed over etc they have not shown up so uh, my one is almost always with me uh yeah. and it's really at this point is just for me to feel feel my own safety and feel my own love and that mm -hmm. I'm, I, I have the courage, that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Well, 
Mm -hmm. All right, we'll keep going. There was a girl that was standing against this wall here closest to the door. And I asked her, I said, did somebody just walk past? And she came out in here and looked and she walked down the hall and she walked, you know, both ways. And she says, the other group is way down. Mm -hmm. And you'll see it's way down in the infirmary. There was nobody here. Wow. You didn't hear footsteps, nothing. It was just, it was cold that night, but not super cold. And I remember a bunch of us were standing out here and all of a sudden, I mean, we were talking and all of a sudden you could see our breath. Mm. So, um, and it just for a few moments and then it was gone. They say that it gets cold when, of course. you know. It's kind of like uh, Woodchester. Sure. Right? When we kept That's having that small true. breeze oh, falling yeah. up. And then yeah. out of nowhere, we could see our breath. Mm -hmm. And then later, we kind of... You're right. Yeah, I know that. Crazy. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow. I'm going to stop real quick before we go into the infirmary. Um, so, I understand, and yes, it happens. Mm -hmm. It can get really cold. You can see your breath, all of that. And that's from the shift in the energy from... It doesn't have to be a conscious spirit. Mm -hmm. um, just that that um, energy sort of taking up space. I don't know how to exactly um, express that, but it's not always 100% true. So just because that happens doesn't mean there's a spirit around. It can just be a shift in energy. So um, as you know, we never like to... Marilyn and I never really like to talk in those absolutes because nothing is absolute. Nothing is absolute. No, Certainly not is. in in the multi dimensions. No. So, uh, but I I wanted to to toss that in there, um, and so yeah, okay, okay. Well, we'll keep going. Okay. <sighs> yeah, this is creepy. Is this room pretty active? Um, this room, this so there's there's kind of different parts to this um, infirmary we've got here. The last group that we had in here had one of those motion sensor uh, music boxes. Yeah. Um, there's a desk back there. We could not get it to stop. Even we left it in here, and we were outside walking along in the back here, here. and you could see it lighting wow. up this room because it just kept going off. Something was setting it off. So. I've had experiences where I've had my hair pulled mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, but even in here... Um, okay, the, the headache that's coming and it's um, directly uh, like connected to my gut, like the just that nausea. Um, okay, so I'm trying to... to where is it coming from? That's what I'm trying to figure out now. Where I'm, when I'm, so when I say what I'm trying to figure, when we say we're trying to figure this out, we're actually asking um, the energy. We're we're, we're asking questions mm -hmm. and we're trying to get, um, mm -hmm. and um, there's a feeling of the the people who stayed in this infirmary were malnutrition. There, there's a feeling of that type of, <clears throat> excuse me, nausea where you, you're just mm -hmm. hungry. Mm -hmm. You're just hungry. And after a while, it just becomes sort of nausea. Mm -hmm. um, I, 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 I get crying. Like, um, these are, they feel younger people and they're in, um, like in their bed, you can see them like, crying like crying themselves to sleep that kind of thing it's very sad mm -hmm. and then that all sort of adds to the energy of the room and just the nausea the sadness uh, I hear humiliation so there was a lot of humiliation as a form of punishment mm -hmm. that comes through as well do you get that too mm -hmm. I got so overwhelmed by the energy in there. I had oh, you to, backed out. That's what you were doing. Yeah. Okay. I had to just get like out of it completely. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm going to have to see if I can pick it up from a distance. Okay. Because it was. Yeah. It's not how any of them are just sort of standing and just being okay right now. <laughs> um, it was crazy to me because I expect someone to, to like right now, like, 
having, you know, hold their stomach or, or say something like, I, I have a headache or I'm kind of nauseous, but maybe we'll see that here. Um, it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me. Um, the, what I get about that is that none of them want to experience that. So they are closed off. Are you guys something yes, in your hair? Yes. The back of my head is like, yeah. it's like somebody's back there playing with yeah, that. Yeah, mine I'm, too. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we'll have to find it. It's not a conscious entity has not come in the room. It's, it's energy. Energetic. It's yeah. yeah. And it's, um, Mm -hmm. uh, I want to say not quite nervous. I don't know exactly the the verbiage to use with this thing, but just um, mm -hmm. like irritating, mm -hmm. like really irritating. And everything was just like I'm kind of itchy and yeah. Mm -hmm. So, ugh, I'm. Whew, I might have to back away a little bit too. All right, let's continue. That same first night, the beds were just like this, and I was standing like right in the middle, so I wasn't touching anything, and there was nobody around me. And um, as weird as it sounds, I was all of a sudden I felt like somebody like brushed up against my butt, like I felt like a firm touch on my butt. Yeah. So, and I turned around, and I was, you know, and it wasn't like anything that it wasn't my clothing or anything. It was firm. Scary guys, you know. It ranges from everything from like some orphans to just really bad bad people. like people that did right? bad things yeah like young criminals really Prop yeah yeah so like instead of sending them to like Folsom or some of the adult prisons this is where they sent them and um, I think the idea was to rehabilitate some of these kids and um, hopefully make them a productive part of society mm -hmm. the energy in this room makes me want to run yes I'm trying to stay out of it, but yes. it is just the anxiety and yes. that panic. Yes. Um, I'm nauseous again. Yes. My hands are sweaty. Yeah. Um, it, this is awful. Yes, very awful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and what I got from that touch, she said some, some like someone touched it. Uh, there is a conscious entity there who grabbed her on the butt. He, 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 I'm going to say he, feels very masculine. Um, sort of that, that uh, he wanted to startle her. He wanted to see what she was made out of. What are you, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. That kind of feeling. I don't, he, I don't feel him there now, however. Mm. I don't feel any, I don't feel any no. buddy there. I just feel all this Me energy. Either. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what we do know is entities, they don't stay around forever. So he could have crossed over. Um, he could, I mean, there are a lot of, he could just be in a different part of the building, mm -hmm. um, maybe has moved on to go somewhere else. All sorts of things could happen. He's not there at the moment, but I just got that flash of, of him doing that. And it was to see what, what she, what would, she do. would do. Yeah, sure. He liked that. He liked to, um, he did that in, in life too very inappropriate inappropriate touching mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. all right let's all right. hope they move out of this room quick yes once they were released mm -hmm. but with that idea i think came with a lot of heavy-handed strictness mm -hmm. yeah. and things that weren't you know so pleasant during our halloween haunt i was actually standing right here because there were people that were coming through right here so i was scaring them as they were coming mm -hmm. in and um, I had pigtails in, and I felt one of them being tugged. But yeah, this room, it's a little, I don't know, I don't know if it's because it's so small, and I don't even know what it was used for, but um, it's always been kind of a, a little bit of a creepy area. Yeah, interesting. So, I see a lot of um, shadow people coming through here. In there, um, like I said, we have some equipment and stuff go off. It's a good place to do to sit on the beds or lay on the beds and do some eating. I'm gonna st stop that. Um, I think here's one thing that gets confusing when people say shadow people. Mm -hmm. And I think that came up in our question and answer, didn't it? It did? Yes, and um, so shadow figures or a shadow is okay to say, but an actual shadow person is something different and very malicious. An um, entity of its own. An entity of its own. Yeah. Yes, that was never human. 
Right. And um, that is, and so I just wanted to sort of. Right. So if you are experiencing activity mm -hmm. and you see a shadow, mm -hmm. um, odds are that it is a shadow of a person. Right. Um, a shadow figure. Um, a lot of times earthies will present as a shadow. Yes. Sometimes because that's all the energy they have. Mm -hmm. Other times they're far enough back in the dimensions. That's all that comes forward. Mm -hmm. Or I think where you were just about to go because they want to scare you. Good. They want to. Yep. They want to look like a shadow. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So there's yep. lots of reasons for it. But to say shadow person, I get what she's saying, but I just want to. Yeah. We just want to kind yeah. of be clear. Um, I don't think shadow people have ever been in this. Ooh, careful. <laughs> no absolutes, Marilyn. Can I take that back? <laughs> Walk that now. back. Yeah. Walk it back. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's keep going. Please. We work. Um, sometimes, you know, we get them actually cussing. We've had them dropping F bombs and different yeah. stuff like that. And I will say, yes, we have shadow figures. I've seen them walk through here. All of us heard audible footsteps down the hall here, and we heard uh, chatter. Mm -hmm. going on. It sounded like full-on conversations. I thought somebody was outside. So this is the bathroom. We had um, someone come in here with one of those um, SLS cameras. They found back over in this corner um, two figures. I don't even know how to say it politely, but there was something going on yeah. between the two. They were yeah. like fighting. No, no, no. like no fighting. No, the opposite of fighting. Opposite of fighting. Love love it. It. Loving. Is that what your parents no. told awesome. you? Awesome. 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 They're back in that corner. So, um, <laughs> can you tell us which position? I know. <laughs> God, I you know. Corey's waiting. Look, they already said they want to do reenactments. Uh, All right, so they can tell me. This is yeah, could you like explain yeah. what they were doing so they can reenact? I was, was not kidding. here for. Okay, so I understand the joking around and the reenactments, and they're trying to. They really are just, whether they know it or not, they're they're trying to lighten it up because it is it is a it's really dense energy in there. Mm -hmm. That is a rape that that was. Mm -hmm. um, being watched mm -hmm. or was was seen and there was many of that much of that going much on of that, yes um and really what i get is uh well i'm not going to go into that there's a lot of a lot of sexual abuse um and i i get that it makes people really uncomfortable and so they're joking around to sort of get away from that in a way to get away from the subject they're joking about the subject to right. sort of get away from it right. but um, it was also presented to them as if it was lovemaking or something, I think is mm -hmm. what they said. Um, and that's not what that was. Mm -mm. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, let's just be clear about what yeah. was happening in here. Much rape going on in here. Yeah. And then also what I do get, though, um, especially when children have been sexually abused, they become very over-sexualized and they sort of equate that to love. Mm, and mm -hmm. so there was some of that going on oh, sure. too. Like they, two very traumatized um, like kids coming mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. to try to find some sort of comfort, but it was um, yeah. that's still not, that's not lovemaking in any way. Mm -hmm. So that happened as well it's very it's just very disturbing in this bathroom there's a lot a lot of pictures running through my mm -hmm. through my head and it's, mm -hmm. and the energy is still are you still nauseous mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. it's like really um yeah so all right i'm it, uh, but that's what I was But if you if you could have about. chosen to have seen what what positions would you have been like? Oh. I don't know. Oh, like, stop. Maybe. Just like stop. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know for sure. <laughs> 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 that's the politest way to say stop ever. You know what? It could have been fighting. I just don't know, but that was the consensus. Could've Not been. that I mean it was Did you just Joe, I just heard that. What was that? That was I a full on like like a lady cry or yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs>
Unless that's just what was that? That could be from the two people making love. Oh, it did kind of yeah. sound like yeah, a, yeah, a yeah. struggling yeah. noise yeah, a little it could bit. Still be that. Something that's that a lot of us will do um, is we'll sit right here. If you look down this hall to the second exit sign, you'll see a shadow figure walking back and forth. No way. Way. Yeah, yeah. The only thing is that he can be very intimidating. Mm -hmm. Not like I can see him, but I have felt him follow me from over here to down. And I'll show you, there's another room uh, down here. It's called our day room. He stares me down and I had to tell him to back off. Yeah. And that is one thing you have to do with him is that you have to tell him to back off if he's listen. bothering you. Yeah. So listen. he'll listen, okay. but you have to be firm. You have to be firm with him. Great. And there's so many people that have experienced him here. It's just, he is one of the, the main, I would say, entities that we have you here. You know his name? We don't. We don't know his name. And we don't know what he was doing here. Did you guys just hear? All right. Um, so this particular entity that she's talking about um, can absolutely get crossed over. Um, absolutely. He's, he's not, he's not. Um, I can't, these, I come up against these ones all the time. So does Marilyn, they want to intimidate you, show you who's boss, etc. Um, I'm even going to say he's the one that, that grabbed her on the butt. I'm, um, yeah, I was yeah, going to, yeah. I was going to mention that. Yes. Um, and he's around, I'm going to also, if, yes, getting firm with him does, he's not going to go away. He thinks it's kind of funny when you stand up to him because mm -hmm. he knows that that you really can't do anything or not going to do anything. Um, but he is definitely someone where um, we would just stand in love and we would do what uh, mm -hmm. what we do, and you just um, you create the love and you you talk to him in that way and you send him that energy and you get him to. He would definitely cross over. He's someone that. Um, he's not evil. He's not demonic. No. He's not any of those things. No. Um, so, he's, yeah. He's, uh, I'm really, really, yeah, I'm, I, I gotta say torn as to the information that I'm getting about him, his living self, because his actions do not fit his internal Mm. constitution okay um i don't i think he was employed here okay it feels like he was in charge of something he was not a main mm -hmm. person um it doesn't feel like he did um really horrific things he got caught up in things he, he got, got caught, caught up, up in, in he in didn't the, stop things. He's right. Kind of, isn't that what you said about this woman yep. you saw earlier? Yep. yep. There was a um, lot of that going on. It was allowed. He didn't stop it. Um, he even participated sometimes. Yeah. He had to enforce things that he did not believe in. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and I can feel this. It was my job. It was my job. That doesn't make it right. Yeah. Hiding behind this is my job yeah. is never a good excuse, but um, that's, which I think, is part of anyway yeah his his, uh, his his spirit self yeah um you know likes to be that in charge um and that when you said he enjoys you getting firm with him he he respects authority that's what he was taught that's how he worked um and so if you are firm with him and you set your boundary He's going okay. To okay. So that. he listens that's to what that. I'm, that's All right. What I'm perfect. Picking up on. Yeah. He respects that's that. Absolutely. Land. So he'll he'll back off. Otherwise, you're fair game. Okay. That totally lands. All right. And he's kind of a big dude. Yeah. 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 I definitely yeah. saw him as a, a yeah. big dude. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> All right. Let's continue. Okay. Mom. It was like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah I, I, I straight up heard that. I, I just heard that. that. Has so, anyone ever not told him to back off and just let him run its course? 
you know, he has almost that angry feel to him. Like, okay. um, like well, kind of like he doesn't want to be bothered, and he's mad that you're in his spot. Mm. And this is his. This is his domain. We've had some experience in here. We had a. Um, we we did just a docent night, and um, we were standing um, kind of just like this, all you know, in the room, and you saw what looked like. Um, little twinkling lights different colored lights that were uh, mm. surrounding one of our docents uh, feet little fireworks really? little tiny tiny little twinkling lights around this guy's foot we were like what is going on were you seeing that in person or yeah or yeah or? no in person wow. we saw what? we were seeing little twinkly lights in here just uh, just on the floor just around that one guy that's kind of cool it was actually the same guy that had to tell the man down here to back off oh really yeah wow. that's the intake room that's where our gentleman seems to to reside and that's where they brought the boys in so I'll show you where he's at this is where our, our man likes to uh, hang out if you look you'll see he'll block out he'll block out the light mm -hmm. walking back and forth um, this is back in this it's almost like a little Winchester -y type um, it's a stairway that goes to nowhere but it has been blocked staircase off Staircase that goes to nowhere yeah if you look around it if you look back through there there's no. a staircase that goes to nowhere and that's um, typically where we think he kind of hangs out um that's his uh, definitely his it's area. like that the winchester there was yeah. a staircase that went to nowhere there. if we start getting like actual shadows it'll be like the first time since doing this i've ever seen a shadow so kind of excited but scared at the same time uh there's a lot of people when i give historic tours say you know well what about you yeah and i generally re respond with well just because the spirits aren't talking to me doesn't mean they're not talking to somebody else mm -hmm. but my one experience was standing at the base of the outside front staircase yeah and it was movie night on the patio we had a giant blow up movie screen and 200 people watching movies on the back patio yeah and i was standing at the bottom of the staircase right at sunset with a young female docent and we were about this far apart talking mm -hmm. and behind me i would describe it as about four or five feet away in a calm adult male voice, I heard a voice say my first name. It said, mm -hmm. Carl. And I turned around and looked and there's nothing there. So first reaction is Carl's cracking up. Mm -hmm. So I looked at uh, Eva, the young docent that was standing directly across from me. And I didn't want to give her something that she could just go, oh yeah, 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 that's what I heard. I said, did you hear something just now other than me? And she said, yeah, I did. And I mm -hmm. said, what did you hear? She said, I heard somebody say your name. Mm -hmm. And I said, who? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so we get asked that question a lot. That was on our Q&A, yes, actually. Yes, yes. And in this situation, um, it was a spirit there. Um, you know, they, uh, they get to know us. They get to know our name. Mm -hmm. um, he was actually trying to get Carl, mm -hmm. get Carl's attention, mm -hmm. and he he has something to say. He has something to say, this spirit that's called his name. Yeah, and he mm -hmm. feels comfortable with, with Carl, but mm -hmm. then he realized that Carl can't hear him or whatever, and yeah. But yeah, so that's, yeah. Yep. It was just that name calling thing. I know we've been asked about that. Yeah. And it's different things at different times. But yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Keep going. Mm -hmm. All right, Elsa. How are you uh, yeah. feeling? Feeling, you know, I've had a better day. Really? Yeah. When? Huh? Name better one better, better day. day. Name, name 12 better days. Yeah. 12 better yeah. days? Um, August 3rd, nope. 1997. Yeah. What was that yeah. day? Uh, rode, uh, rode bike for the first time. Yep. A little late to that. Seven years old. Solid. Ten we more? Have, we don't have time for you to make up these days, okay? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't mention July 28th, 2018. I can never forget that day. Well, you don't remember what happened? He remembers. No, we remember. He remembers. Can you spell That memory it? is uh, <laughs> inside of both of us forever. I bet it was. He Dang. remembers. Down this hall, we have been seeing like mists okay. forming towards the end of the hall. And then this back door here, 
Um, one of our uh, docents, she saw a full body black uh, shadow man go walk through um, or past that door inside. So. Jeez. How long um, ago was this? Uh, this last year. Oh, great. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, within, I would say, the last six to eight months. Awesome. Uh, yeah. So this is the Company B dormitory. Oh. All these kids beds this is where they slept it wasn't just me a couple of us saw a ball roll through here you'll see little twinkly lights again you might hear voices in here the boys that slept in here are the ones that actually worked inside this building yeah I appreciate it thank so, you yeah, thank you so if much if you have Seriously. any more questions about stuff so. all right let's head down then all right all right we have all of the gear laid out there's Man. quite a lot and if you are new to our channel and you don't know what a majority of these are, these are all REM pods, completely different kinds. Obulus, there's cat balls in here, flashlights, even the bear is a REM pod. K2, dowsing rods, the SLS to pick up images, motion sensor music box, just kind of another spirit box. And then this is one of the newer items that we have. And these are full thermal imaging, military grade goggles. Matt, you said earlier that down in the basement. That would be sick to look down that hallway. Oh, damn. Yeah, that, that is long range. 28 times zoom, optical zoom. So it can see clearly for about 300, 400 feet. Dude. Everything that we need is here. What do you guys want to do? Start as a group or go solo or? Yeah, I think we should start, start as a group. group and break Always. Off. Start yeah. group? Feel the house out a bit before we just split off to our yeah. deaths. Okay. Yeah, 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 let's go yeah. there. Okay. Yeah. The medical wing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, let's go to that place. Can you guess what I'm going to grab? My heart. That. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, my second guess, it's always the REM oh, okay. Yo, this is my baby. Let's head over to the infirmary. I think I'm gonna dress up in a doctor's outfit and stir things up. You're gonna what? Dress up in a doctor's outfit. Why would you do that? You don't have a PhD. You're not Dr. Phil. But I'm a ghost hunter. All right, Dr. Josh, let's go get your Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Follow me. Follow me. It's good to go to haunted places and reenact stuff. Like at the Lizzie Borden house, I went around with the axe like this and it stirred up a lot of activities. Sometimes it could be kind of bad. Well, I'm not antagonizing the ghost. I'm gonna stop this. Um, so, one of the reasons, we'll be honest, one of the reasons that it's taken so long for us to get back to this channel is because we find them so disrespectful and it's really very hard for us. It is very hard. Um, yeah, there's been several times that it, it, they were doing, you know, the talks they were having in the bathroom, and then just a little bit ago with, they were talking about a date or something, whatever that was about, and then it just, it's so disrespectful. You have to, um, you all, those of you who've been watching our channel know that we come from the ghost point of view. Mm -hmm. And so when you're talking about the ghost, these are, these are, people that no longer have a body they live in fear in that vibration and there's um they need help these are people who need help they have a diminished mental capacity um and they need help i i can't stress that enough you all know that they need help and you have these these boys um walking around making jokes, making fun of things, making fun of them by putting on, a, a, by reenacting things, you're making fun of the tragedy that has happened in these people's lives. Absolutely. The reason they're still there. Yeah. It's absolute, it, it's, it's awful. And so I'm, I'm trying to set that aside and just watch the paranormal part of this video come at with the ghost point of view. Um, but um, it's very disrespectful and we don't like it. No. So, and I'm gonna say you don't either. Okay. I'm gonna say we, um, because we certainly have um, had conversations yeah. about it. So um, please don't do that. If you <laughs> go out, if there is activity, yeah. don't try to recreate something um, that is traumatized. So they are, they're such, they're re-traumatizing these spirits. Sure, there's some angry spirits, um there's there are things that maybe they're they might try to hurt you or they might try to do things but they mm -hmm. don't know any better they don't know what else to do because they're stuck 
in that emotion, in that acquired way of thinking. Mm -hmm. And um, so they need help. And especially the ones who are, because that the, I work with the extra scary ones, the, the lower vibrational ones, they need the most help in my opinion. Um, but that's because I'm bent that way, <laughs> I guess. But it's very sad and here, there's a lot of sadness, a lot of trauma went on here. A lot of things happened to a lot of people that was just mm -hmm. cruel and unusual mm -hmm. and just unconscionable. And the people that did it had as much trauma in their lives to be able to repeat that and do it. True. So everyone was traumatized here. Mm -hmm. everyone. Were you going to say something? And I... Um. I was just going to talk for a second about what I picked yeah. up in the uh, dormitory. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure in their investigation they'll make it back there, but um, there is a residual of a young boy running, jumping in his bed, pulling. Oh. Runs, yeah. jumps in his bed, pulls yes. over his colors. Just, um, yeah. and that's just, that's that residual energy yeah. for that residual. Of that fear. Yes. Yeah, that little boy was scared out of so his mind. So scared. And physically, his physical, he was yeah. physically scared. He left. Something him. was going to he, happen he to him. He left that imprint of energy in yes. the atmosphere. And very possibly even a soul piece. Most, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, most likely. Um, I also picked up on another young boy. Well, he felt young. I don't think he was as young um chronologically as he feels to me um it feels like he is still there um probably early teens okay. but he feels like nine ten um, and he was just walking around just <sighs> yeah, just walking around yeah um okay. filled with shame yeah um i haven't quite been able to shake that shame feeling yes. um, that it hit me as soon as they got to the dormitory um, really strong just well and there's you can again I'll bring it up again because it's coming in now a lot of sexual abuse mm -hmm. and there's a lot of shame in the victims of sexual abuse mm -hmm. and even not just sexual abuse a lot many kinds of abuse you get shame the victims feel shame because the perpetrator causes that like enforces right. it's your yeah. fault you can't say anything you're doing this look you're participating whatever i mean all sorts of all sorts of things the what's coming for me is uh neglect yeah oh severe neglect yeah. here just yeah. yeah and uh yeah yeah I, yeah yeah I, I, lots of it yeah. all right um <sighs> okay all this right. is this is kind of hard. This is very hard. This is hard. This is kind of brutal. Yeah. Okay. Some things trigger things. Oh, we're going really in. We getting the scrubs on? I wonder whose these were. All right. Oh my! What a scrub. They call oh, me Doctor Josh, and I'm here to do operations. We should all lay in the bed, and Josh should come around and diagnose all of us. We, we should also say hello for. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Matt. Hello, my name's Corey. Hello, what's my name's Josh. Now? Hello, my name's Elton. We are uh, just, like, not starting. staff members here. It's just not. I like this. I'm hearing a voice that raises it. No, this just literally went from 100 to 1% in yeah. one second. What? But you heard that I was like, like, like upstairs or something too. The same or what? Yes. Yeah, the same, right? Wait, what happened to the SLS? Just went to ten percent, like immediately. Yeah. Lowly right now, just went phew, down to ten. Well, if there is anyone in here, if you want to talk to us, we have plenty of toys around the room for you to play with. We don't mean any harm. We're not mean. We're not bullies. We're not that much older. We just want to talk I to y'all. Maybe hang out a little bit. Yeah. And then we'll leave. So there's a couple of tiny balls. There's one in the hallway. 
There's one at each of the chairs. There's one connected to both cameramen. <laughs> I think they each have one. <laughs> uh, those chairs, there's something spotted open the bed. Which bed? Laying down. Uh, this bed. Well, just standing one? But it literally just completely turned off right now. I just want to do it. Well, maybe that means that <laughs> they'll gain some energy. You want to put underneath? So, when this first started and I talked about the poltergeist-ish energy, there is a massive ball of it in this room. Mm. And that's what's draining their Good. equipment. Good. Um, I will be very interested to see if any of these guys um, pay any attention to it. Um, I know one of them earlier, they had to stop because he was getting nauseous, so um, he would probably be the first one to feel it. Um, but this is a massive ball of effed up energy. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Go energy! <laughs> Just saying. Yes. Cool. Still cold. Right, that's remarkably difficult to set off. You really have to... They have to touch the chest, basically. Yeah. Oop, like that. Okay. What? It wasn't doing that before. Uh -uh. Can you touch it again? Is that box on your bed? Will it start? Alright, should we try laying on the bed and then putting like a cat ball at our feet? Uh, I feel like we one's fine and let's go do B roll. Yeah, let's do that. Because uh, we're all gonna be contained in the room. Yeah. Okay. Right, yeah. So go off B roll. Yeah, you do B roll for like 30 minutes probably. Alright, 30 minutes. Probably what you need it, I would guess. Yeah. Oh! It, it agrees 30 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Dude, I bet you that ghost is laying in the bed. Evan is a cat boy. Because you guys are all in the bed. Hello everyone, I'm the doctor of this room. Um, for anyone who's sick. Hail or... child. Oh, that's, that's what this just said. Hail child. Don't break, Josh. Yep. Anyone who's sick or needs any help, please lay in this bed here and I can take care of you as I'm taking care of the other three people here in this bed. What did Sam the Obelisk, by the way? Just... What I hear is you fucking can't take care of anyone. Like, he's really, there's an adult male that who's just pissed off. Yeah. Pissed off. And he, and you let me know if this is connected with that, that ball of that poltergeisty energy. Okay. Like, he gets pissed off. And that thing reacts. That that ball of energy gets more. Um, yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, and the energy is just. I'm not going to say that just, it's created by him. No, 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 but no, it's no. Definitely. Yes. Any big um, reactions? I'm going to say it works both ways. Okay. Okay. Yeah. They feed off each other. Yeah. Oh. Um. The energy feeds more off of him, but if the energy like runs into something and he's like, he's like, oh, he's, they're really in tune. Okay. Which seems kind of odd, but they're really in tune. <laughs> okay. All right. It said pop. Pop. Like soda pop? You want some pop? Soda pop pop, and I don't care. Soda pop pop, and I don't care. Oh! You know that song? It's good. Can you touch the chest again on this bed? One more time. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. He's really just irritated. Good job. Just go the fuck away. It's cool, isn't it? It just lights up, makes noise. <laughs> the more the Do you want soda? Possible, what did it say? Okay. The more sick Sweet. I feel. Ah. Oh, oh. Wow. Right when you brought up treats. Light up the chair. Yeah. Do we have any treats with us? We don't. We can get some. We could get some. 
Dude, this is really good evidence. That's his anger. Well, I think he wants But evidence to of what? You don't even know. Could you stop touching it for a second? Because I have a question. If you're in pain, on a scale of 1 to 10, could you make that box go off for the scale of pain you're in? Maybe we can help you. So 10 would be the most. One would be they know they can't help them. fever. And stop stomach offering. Ache. You want us to turn the light off? He's not in pain. He's not. Um... Corey? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that better? Down over there by the desk, there is a device on the table. Can you walk to it and touch it for me? It's a music box. It'll play a cool sound. Give us a sign. Communicate. Yeah, communicate. communicate. That's all we want to do. Just saying hi. You can introduce yourself. What's your name? This tool that I'm holding in my hand, it picks up your words. Duh. Her, though. Communicate her, though. And then before that, it was Beth. It, it was like, let Beth communicate her, though. Hmm. That's what it's just said. Are we talking to Beth? Reach in again. Maybe Beth was a nurse here? Maybe. All right, how about this? We're all gonna get up off the beds. And if that's what you wanted, you gotta make a device go off. But if you don't do anything when we all stand up, we're just gonna lay back down. We're gonna get comfortable, okay? There you go. Oh, you asleep? We were in bed now, it hurts. What'd you say? Right now, it just hurts. It hurts? Have you ever had appendicitis before? No, 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 no it's terrible. It feels like your insides are being like ripped apart. That's what you feel like right now? Mm-hmm. In here? Mm-hmm. Do you want to get up? Mm-hmm. Do you need help up? No, I really like, don't want to move at all. It literally feels like there's like one of those gardening tools. Who's doing this? Man. Are you doing that to Elton? Maybe you should get up, if you can. You remember how seasick I got on that boat? Yes. Mm-hmm. 
does this land for you? He's feeling the anger. He's feeling the shame. He's feeling the guilt. And he has no clue why. I'm going to add to that. Yes. He is feeling, I'm not going to say he's jumped. Okay, he hasn't been jumped. No. But there is some, there's some unhealed, what we call unhealed empathy. Yeah. That has been um, activated here. So what happens is if one of the reasons why you don't go do this stuff when you're unhealed, which, you know, um, is that if an, a spirit is there who has the same wounding, it comes together. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's feeling. So there's some, there is something with a spirit there who has the same, um, I'm getting, I, I'm getting more adult-ish for the, the, the spirit, um, and possibly had surgery, did, said something about an appendix or something. I don't know what he said, but, mm -hmm. um. Yeah, there's something with that connection mm -hmm. that he has the same wounding. It could be physical wounding and it could be emotional wounding mm -hmm. and it could be both. Mm -hmm. And there, he's connecting with the energy of that exact wounding and right. it's coming together and he's now feeling, mm -hmm. feeling sick. Now, it's not that a spirit or the energy is doing this to him. Correct. That's not at all what's no, happening here. No, It's his own being taking on that energy mm -hmm. because it's... Like attracts like. We talk about that all yep. the time. We talk about that all the time. And that's mm -hmm. what's happening right here. This is a perfect example of like attracting like. Mm -hmm. And... Um, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, dude. Yeah. So this energy is going to go home with him it's going to hang around for a while this is a perfect mm -hmm. example of someone who needs an energy healing like asap yes like if we were there we would clear that off yeah right now and he'd be fine um but yeah that's mm -hmm. what this is also why we say don't have um activity in your home right of any sort whether it's conscious spirits or just this nasty energy that could just follow you around, whatever that is, because it ends up making you sick mm -hmm. after a while. You end up, even if you don't, you may not even start, like they're only in here for a day or something, but let's say it's in your home. Mm -hmm. You may not start at that same vibration, but after a while, you end up coming down right. to the same vibration and then you end up getting sick all the time. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, perfect example yeah. of all that, isn't it? It is. All right. Okay, yep. One more time. Worse, <laughs> like that level of pain. Here. That season? Here. Here and climbed. Could. Oh, wait. This could be like a. It's like the poultry guy's house. What happened when you do that? The poultry guys? It would say about 30 words. What? Like a minute straight of just words after words. Suit. Suit. Should we move rooms, you think? Yeah, you down on something? Yeah, I'll go. Get the music box and the cat ball. Grab the cat ball. Off the generator? Oh, I didn't know there was one
really careful Maybe when you get nauseous. I don't even feel nauseous. I literally feel like I just got like 104 fever in one second. Holy yeah. shit. Maybe we should honestly go outside. Come on, you outside. should go. This way, Elvin, this way. <laughs> this way. It's probably best you go outside, breathe, and come back. Yeah. Because who's ever like doing it to you, it's probably a bad spirit. Well, I mean, you know they say that like you get a headache or you get pain on the back of your neck, that means it's trying to attack you. Yeah. Dude, I've been to a few places. <laughs> got sick from like actual ghosts and things. And this is definitely a case. Oh, I can see it. Uh, oh, no, he's actually yeah. <coughs> oh. yep. oh, That's awful. So I, his body it's actually kind of scary oh, because so we could be. That. So his, literally his physical body, his deva, that's what we call the physical body. His mm -hmm. deva is trying to rid itself of this a really low vibrational energy. This energy that is creating this, his yeah. physical body is trying to expel it yeah. by making him throw up. I yeah. mean, that's that's your body doing its job. Right. Your the, your body is trying to get rid of the toxin. Right. So that's that's what's happening. Mm -hmm. So, um, but that was absolutely created by that energy that just overtook, and that's not even. Well, I shouldn't even say that, but yeah, <laughs> I'm going to stop there. All right. Anything else you want to say or? Um, I hope he doesn't go back in, but I bet he does. Yeah, I know. That would be a bad, a yeah. bad thing. Yeah. So, and there was something I was going to say about something one of those guys said, but I can't even remember what it is now. Something about that's how you know you're going to be attacked or something. And I had something to say and I, mm. I don't remember now what it was. Next. Let's keep going. I don't want to be next. I really don't want to be next. Bro, if I were you, that'd sick. be kind of nuts to go back in the castle after okay, that yeah, experience. Do you, so do you... And really... Like, why did you just get sick? Could be I next. Any of them. Really. The last time this happened was in uh, Boston. Wait, what'd you guys hit in Boston? FK Mansion. I think you were there. We were down in the basement. Oh, the basement's oh the worst God. place in SK. What Hands happened down. right before FK Mansion? The f SLS died. And I had it in my hand, right? Wasn't that me? Why am I just thinking about that right now? That's actually weird. You could chill in the RV for like 30 minutes so we could finish up that room and then come get you. Okay, so stop. I'll, I'll go get the keys and go get the jacket. As nice as she was saging him, as nice as that Oh, is that, that what that was? <laughs> I, I think, yeah, as nice okay. as that is. Um, like say if she were there and she decided that was not gonna help this guy from getting sick. That mm. it's it's not enough. I under, The saging, will only help sort of raise the vibration of the energy that's out here. It's not going to do anything to the energy that's permeated right. you, that you have yourself grabbed onto that, like versus right. th that, that you've are now, um, actual energy healing is the only thing that's going to help. Well, expelling it all. Expelling <laughs> it, yeah. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, so... Anyway, just want to toss that in there. And then wherever you guys are, I'll join you. It's better than nothing. I mean, saging. True. If, you know, so. What? Oh, this. That's the, where the REM pop was. Yeah. But that's where I got sick. Yeah. get in the way this is no time for your ego to say yeah. okay i'm gonna be a man and i'm gonna go in and i um it just affected me this way but i'm gonna go show yeah. it somebody not the time and no. you never do that with with activity um he's gonna be sick for a while he is not going to be feeling no, well i'm sure yeah. um but that that's not the time just just cut your losses and and stay out yep yeah i agree exchange 
Dude, that is actually scary. Like, that's legit. Yeah. Like, seriously. Yeah. What was that? You heard that? Yeah, what was that? Like yeah. Yeah. It's like not like a, a like a shoe stuck to the floor and then it comes yeah. off. Okay, so an update now. Elton just ran back down the stairs to go back outside to throw up some more. We don't know. Yeah, we actually don't know how he's actually feeling. He's usually like a tough guy that wants to stick it through, but I don't know. I think he could be legitimately sick or actually someone's really attacking, yeah, him. attacking yeah. him. So to get as much evidence as we can, I think that we should split up in groups right now. Yeah. It could be really you dangerous. Two yeah. Can go together. Together. Yeah, take Evan. Okay. And then I'll stay up here with Kyle, and then we'll just see what we can get, and then you if, know, maybe give it an hour, or if Elton comes back in, that's yeah. when we regroup. Okay. Right. But we can't be wasting time, you know? Yeah, we can't let's, wait, let's make the most of it. We also gotta be super safe. Yeah, but let's make sure he didn't get sick for nothing, you know? Let's still have a good, yeah. a, a good of a experience as we can. I think he's getting attacked by something. I'm 100% sure. He's, he was <laughs> fine when he walked in here. All of a sudden he said the following thing and now he's like throwing up, he's like gone. Yeah. She, she like believes that he's definitely experiencing something, not just who, being sick. Who does? Connie. Yeah. Con the twerk that was running yeah, us? Yeah. Yeah, she thinks that, yeah. And what, we were in the medical room? Yeah. So Where people would go when they were sick. Exactly. Right. So they could have put whatever they had mm -hmm. on Elson to make him feel what they went through. Yeah. yeah. Some negative energy. Yeah. All right, well, I think, so what, well, you want to go in the basement, we're going to find no, the shadow dude. Yeah. yeah. That is yeah. everyone's yeah. scared of, too. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, yo, if one of you guys feels sick, just, just talk and like, I'd rather care about our health more than yeah. like anything else. So yeah, just, just someone to come let us know. You know? Yeah. Like seriously, like if you, yeah, if you real, get like real. a headache or it, even if you feel pain like on the back of your neck, mm -hmm. like literally rub it yeah. and like say yeah. a prayer. Yeah. Cause that means that something's trying to attach to you. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is really dark. I got my cross on me. Let's yeah. go, Same. let's go Jesus Christ. All right, All right. Let's <laughs> down. who's coming with me and uh... <laughs> That was interesting. That was interesting. All right. Uh, Done. All right. Um, well, poor guy. I don't know. I'm glad he left, though. So I know there are, I have to say, this is, I think this went back to what I was going to say earlier and I forgot. There are people who think that the back of your neck, that's how you get 
jumped or uh, attacked right. or something like that. And that's not necessarily true. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but that's not necessarily true. Um, so anyway, yeah. there, there's lots of reasons for it. We're actually, we'll probably do a, a video on on getting, we probably getting will. jumped and the reasons yeah. why and kind of how that happens, et cetera. Yeah. So, um, yeah. all right. Well, that was well, interesting. Okay. Um, they, um, that poor guy getting sick. I am. Is, I'm glad he finally left. Me too. Um, me too. Because his body was yes. not handling yes. it no. at all. At all. Yeah. So, um, anyway. Okay. Um, yeah, it's kind of, I feel kind of mixed. Um, I, I don't really like this group. I just have to be honest with you. I don't like the way they, um, they laugh and make fun of the spirits and just yeah. adding insult to injury. Um, there was some really good stuff in there that we could talk about to, to all of you. So I'm mm -hmm. really mixed on, on, um, saying thank you for <laughs> wanting us to watch this, but, uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. All right. I'm sorry. Well, I got nothing. Yes. So the conscious spirit.net. Yes. If you want to be on that email yes. list and we'll let you know list. what's, what we're offering. I hope you liked the video. Yes. Um, yes. There was some really crazy energy in, yep, that, there in was. that place. Yeah. And uh, not surprised at all that someone ended up getting sick. We felt the no. nausea right away. Yeah. That um, was, that was pretty intense. Yeah. So, so subscribe if you haven't. Yes, um, please. Like, and, and we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, see you next time. Bye. Bye.